Okay, so you said uh, you breathe in through the nose. Breathe in through the nose, out, out through the mouth. The mouth. Okay. Those are proper respirations. Okay. The reading up front is here. It's ninety-eight percent. Okay. Interesting. Seems high. Seems high? Yeah. No, that's where it should be. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, hundred. Yeah. That's normal. Okay. I mean, I do carry <coughs> one of these on high flights. Good. So I've watched, I've watched it. So right. I, when, once it gets below ninety, I start to like you know, think, Good. Of, think about it. Good. <laughs> okay, guys. Mask yeah, on. Yep. Yep. You're good to go. Ah. Perfect. Good. Nice tight seal. Excellent. <laughs> All right. You guys are currently sitting at. You guys are 6,500 feet. Okay, now you realize this is very much like the Olympics. We got USA, we got yeah. not USA. <laughs> it's us against the world, Chief. Make us proud here. You're like the Red Gerard of the hypoxia machine. All right, altitude is coming up pretty quickly. Got you guys now at 19,685 feet. Oxygen level's coming down, you're down to 90. Europe is still at 95. You feeling anything? Nothing? Twenty-eight thousand feet. You're down to 90 now, 82 beats a minute. You're down to 78, 88 beats a minute, 102 beats a minute. Your heart's kind of vacillating there. Is the faster or slower? Faster. Faster. Okay, because it's trying to pump more oxygen. Okay. Yeah. You feel anything? You do. Okay, good. What are you feeling? Tired? You want, to go to, you want to take a little nappy poo? <laughs> <laughs> you feel anything? What do you feel? Harder breathing? Heart. Your heart beating. Okay. Thank you for translating for me. Noticing? Yeah. You, sir, take off your mask. Yeah, I felt it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Rock on. Give me some love. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, I started to feel a little weak. A little weak? Yeah. Yeah, like about 10 margaritas? Don't answer that. Maybe. <laughs> you have no clue. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going to turn my attention to Europe here for a second. You didn't lose. You had good feeling. A little, yeah. The cold? Yo, God, feel the end of his fingers. Feel the tips of his fingers. Oh, my God. Yeah, my legs feel like oh, yeah. everybody's different. Really? Yeah, everybody's different. He's in great shape. Irrelevant. Really? It's I, that's what I was saying. Physical really? fitness level has nothing to do with it. It's just an individual's response yeah, to hypoxia. Like, yeah, the which is shocking to me too. To but that's what we found to be. The, yeah. Yeah. The guy could bend what you need? Straight, nope. But nope. Everything started to feel really good. <clears throat> what if he was a runner? I can Irrelevant. See you really yeah, that's what I'm saying. Your breathing was a little more labored. You were yeah. I started feeling it at the end. I was like, mm -hmm. right you definitely feeling it? Down. Did you feel your heart beat faster? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're down to 72. You're getting a low of two warning. Go ahead and take your mask off for me, please. Into your nose, out through your mouth. You're a little lightheaded? Yeah, a little lightheaded. Lightheaded? I actually get a little nervous. A little nervous? Yeah, I get a little nervous. I like. And if I would be flying right now, I would be I would be on the descent for yeah. a while. Good, that's what I want. Yeah. That's, exactly. that's, that's the key to this. A little this. anxiety, yeah, not not too much, but just just discomfort. I'm like, right. if I'm in a plane, there's no freaking way I keep flying. Yeah, good for you. That's, yeah. that's Do you feel discomfort it's because you're near me? <laughs> all right, that's a good one. Just call a spade a spade right off the bat. Look, this is why I'm not happy. All right, you're here. I felt it come on really quickly though. Like, yeah, I saw you. Then, I don't know, trying to think if I was flying, I think immediately I would have felt horrible. And that's that's critical right there. 
All right, you're back at the 98. You can take all your stuff off. Yeah, but I did not get you for it. Okay, yeah. Daniel, you were just concentrating on the notes. I was concentrating. Yeah. Um, back to 91. What's that? What caused it to say that the Yeah, the fingers start to curl up. What's that about? When you get too much oxygen, is what actually starts to cause that. Not a lack of oxygen. Too much. Thank you. Thank you. It's helpful, though. Good to go. Yep. Oh my god, you ripped the entire thing out. Oh, yeah. All right, so um, I just finished the uh, hypoxia training uh, with a simulation session. They took us to uh, uh, simulated 28,000 um, feet at the same time, uh, watching the heart rate and the oxygen level in the blood, as well as trying to observe uh, the symptoms that you experience uh, while doing that and <clears throat> I guess the result for me personally is, um, is actually pretty positive because um, I did notice the drop in oxygen level uh, with an increase in uh, my heartbeat and uh, I certainly didn't get euphoric or anything um, rather I felt that as my heart uh, beat uh, would increase I felt some kind of uh, uh, nervousness set in a little bit of an anxiety not 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 very strong though uh, but strong enough that I would um, you know basically what through went through my mind is that you know this is this is not good and I would be uh, I would be descending at this point because I don't feel like you know things are uh, as they should be um, at the same time I, I, I never felt like that I could think straight or that um, uh, that I wasn't able to control my thoughts I was actually watching the numbers carefully and um, you know paying attention to what was going on that said you know I still have a very very uh, strong respect for high altitude flying and I did watch some other people um, you know develop stronger symptoms than um, than I did um, also I think it's worth uh, remembering that uh, while I may not have felt a lot of symptoms uh, on this particular session um, that doesn't guarantee that I wouldn't feel uh, stronger symptoms or different symptoms uh, another time there is a possibility that those symptoms will change uh, over time uh, they're highly individualistic, uh, so we were told, so uh, they are very specific to the individual and they, they tend not to change too dramatically, but, but over time, over the years, uh, uh, there definitely can be uh, a change in those symptoms. But just in terms of stats, uh, I, did see my, uh, I did see my heart beat um, increase to uh, well over uh, 90. Uh, so it went. It started off somewhere in the 60s, uh, as I would expect uh, in this kind of setting, and then uh, it would go uh, over 90. Um, the oxygen level was uh, initially at 98%, uh, and then it came down rather slowly, uh, uh, but uh, eventually dropped uh, down into the 70s. So I think I stopped the exercise when it was down to 72 or 73%. Anyway, so I uh, thought that uh, might be helpful to remember for myself and uh, it definitely was a, a worthwhile exercise taking that course.